And this video is brought to you by Lenovo for those who do. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, another awesome, beautiful unboxing for you guys. And uh, this time it is a server. And it's my first uh, because I've always used Dell servers. I'm a huge Dell server kind of guy. And this is my first Dink server. And I'm super excited uh, from Lenovo. Uh, big thanks for Lenovo sending me this. Uh, I'm going to be getting this machine ready to do a lot of virtualization stuff for you guys. Uh, so let's open it up. Now, I believe Lenovo sent me the Think Server TD340. Some of the things that I know about the T3, uh, TD340 is uh, it comes with uh, a 10 terabytes. I don't know what type of RAID it is, so I have to check that out. It comes with 32 gigs of memory, double DR3 if you're wondering. Uh, I think the max that you could do on memory is 192 gigs, which is oh, a beast. Uh, it comes with dual processors. I believe it's a Xeon E5 uh, Intel. And it's already pre-built with Windows Server 2012 R2. So there's a good chance I'm just going to take advantage of Server 2012 and just not reformat it. But I probably check out the RAID because again, this is my first thing server that I ever used before. So what comes in the box? So you got a small little box right here. I'm just reading it right here. Looks like this is a USB. Ooh, wow. Old school keyboard. Cool. Okay, so this is the keyboard. I got another additional box right here and a mouse two heavy gauge power cables Ooh, look at that it gives me uh, think server easy startup cd and other cds with it too which is awesome raid configuration tools which is a definitely plus for me documentation on the think server td340 and we have some warranty some other stuff in here which is okay so Let's take this foam out of the way. All right, one foam. Uh, this is a tower, so it's, I think it's a 5U, 5U tower. Oh my gosh, this is a beast. Woo! All right, well, this guy is a beast. It is extremely heavy, Oh, but it is a beauty. Let's take this plastic out. This thing is gorgeous. All right, so uh, I'm gonna turn it right here. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the front panel. So up top here, this is the power button. You have a bunch of LED indicators right here next to the power button as well as here. I'm assuming this right here with the cylinder is the indicator for the hard drive. Uh, network, network, one and two. Power or warning. Uh, it looks like you have two USBs right here. You have a DVD drive and you have an extra bay to add something else. Ooh, this is beautiful. Awesome. Oh, what? That is sweet. Uh, so, <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. So I have one, two, three, four, five, giving me 10 terabytes. Uh, there's two terabyte drives each, wow. So they actually hooked us up with Ooh, SATA drives. Oh man, this is beautiful. Seagate SATA drives, five of them in total. I'm wondering if it's a RAID 1. I wonder what the RAID is, so probably I have to check that out. A uh, sweep. Right here is more indicators. This is CPU fan. This is also power supply, temperature, memory. These are the indicators right there, which is awesome. Uh, so let's turn this guy around and see what's in the back. All right, so let's take a look at the back. Uh, kind of disappointed they didn't give me another power supply, which is okay. I might, I probably purchase another one because it's always good to have two power supplies for redundancy because you never know one, uh, one of your power supplies could go down, the other one could take over while you replace it. These keys right here is to lock the front panel so no one could take your hard drives. You have multiple slots for, I'm assuming, PCIe Express cards, hopefully. You have your VGA, 
You have one and two uh, two gigabit NIT cards, which are actually in integrated to the motherboard. Uh, the first one is actually the management, which is pretty cool. I'm going to set that up so I can remote into the server. You have four additional USB ports, and you have a serial port. And that's it, guys, for my unboxing of the Lenovo Think Server TD340. I'm super, super excited to have this guy because, again, it's my first time actually using a Think Server. I've always used Dell servers, so actually using another brand uh, would be a challenge for me. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of videos to show you guys how to how I get it configured up and running. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I can't wait to start building a bunch of virtual machines and seeing how this guy runs. Uh, so far for what I've known, uh, it looks like I have 10 terabytes. I have five two terabyte SATA drives. Uh, for I have two processors, uh, dual processors. Uh, they're Intel Xeon E5 V2 series, I believe it is. I think I have 32 gigs of memory, which is WDR3. Uh, the max is 192, which is awesome. I'm probably going to purchase a couple of uh, solid state drives. That'd be awesome. I'm debating whether or not if I'm going to wipe it clean and then rebuild it from the ground up, meaning uh, create the RAID, because the RAID system or the RAID controller on the Lenovo's are way different than uh, Dell's. So I cannot wait to boot this up and see how that stuff works out for me. But uh, again, stay tuned for that stuff. And uh, if you are a Lenovo fan and you use Think servers, leave comments right below and let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.